Hi, this is meteorologist Steve Pelletier, and I am the weatherman. Thanks for checking into the weathermanpod.com on this Thursday. It is the ninth day of the month of May already, almost a third of the way through the month. And unfortunately, I wish I had some better news for the nation's mixed section from the central Mississippi River Valley eastward through the Tennessee and the Ohio Valley for some hefty showers and some severe weather and thunderstorms that have been making all the news of late because of tremendous amounts of energy moving up out of the southwest, all part of the El Nino pattern that uh, brings in lots of moisture from southern sections of California near Baja and then eventually in that area, it tends to be on the drier side, but once it moves across the Rockies and then into the western plains of Texas, it starts to tap some of that Gulf moisture. And when that happens, you get some of that very heavy weather in the locally severe storms that we've been seeing from Texas all the way up through Arkansas, the Central Mississippi River Valley, and into the southern Great Lakes over the last several days. Uh, weather across the Northeast Corridor looking pretty good, at least for today to start, but there'll be some showers moving in from the west. So increasing clouds from D.C. to the Boston area with the possibility of some rain and showers. High temperatures only ranging up to about 70 today. Pretty close to normal for this time of year, but it's an east wind that'll develop as low pressure forms off the DeMelva course, and that's going to bring in lots of uh, temperatures into the upper 40s and lower to mid 50s with rainy weather expected for Friday and Saturday. Looks like uh, by the time we get to Sunday and early next week for the Northeast Car, the weather should start to improve gradually. Unfortunately, though, up around Atlanta and into Charlotte, the weather is going to be locally severe, and that means there'll be some extensive delays. For our aviation interest across the nation, into the airline hubs across the nation as well, Charlotte and Atlanta will have extensive delays over the daytime on Thursday into Thursday night. As we head further south down to Florida, no problems at Miami, Fort Lauderdale, or in southwest Florida at Fort Myers. Looking at just clouds and rainy weather or drizzle in the Houston area. Dallas-Fort Worth also looking much better. There was some earlier showers and thunderstorms, but they're moving east in the central and central and western portion of the Rockies from Denver westward into Utah and into Nevada. Looks like dry conditions. Denver looking no problem, fair conditions, but Wyoming, extensive rain and mountain snows. Mountain snows in western portions of Montana as well. West Coast showing generally dry conditions from San Diego up to L.A. and up to San Francisco, although there will be lots of clouds offshore. Looks like we are looking at decent conditions for a while, at least up in Portland and in Seattle. As mentioned, the Northeast Carter increasing clouds for your Thursday. It looks like rainy weather on Friday. Generally dry conditions for Saturday and Sunday, although lots of clouds Maybe some nicer weather for next week. I'm Eddie Rogers, Steve Pelletier, and that's the weather story for today. Check in again on Friday. We'll have an update for this upcoming Mother's Day weekend. Take care.